copper with our HNO3, okay, dilute HNO3 gives our NO, while our zinc with dilute HNO3 gives our N2. How to remember it without any confusion? It's very easy. I have a mnemonic for you. Here we have our three phosphorus, white, red and black. Okay, okay yeah, we are just comparing it and study which helps you understand it and memorize it for longer. So red phosphorus and cellular reactions. Okay, how is red phosphorus produced? Okay, so you just know this uh, flow chart. Okay, which is actually made by me. Okay, you need not study. Hello friends, this is Vishnu here. Welcome back to my channel, Tips, Tricks and Concepts by Vishnu. So in this video, we will continue with our P block and let's start with our nitrogen oxides so oxides of nitrogen table and let's learn it in an easy manner but before that if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel as soon as possible and also share it with your friends okay so let's go to the video without wasting any time so friends let's go to this table okay the tables of oxo or, or the oxides of nitrogen okay so number idle we are just studying the ones which are exceptions first okay that's the we NO2. What is NO2? Nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide, we all have done uh, experiments in the laboratory that nitrogen oxide dioxide gas when released, it is brown in color. Right? You all have nitrate, okay? Whenever you are given a salt, okay, you detect the anions present in it. That's why nitrate, you will get brown gas when heated with uh, the cotton ball. Right? So, this NO2, you can remember it as our brown gas, okay? While the next uh, exception is our blue solid, which is a blue solid N2O3, okay? N2O3 is the blue solid. Now, the first one, okay, the, uh, uh, the only the first two, that is our N2O and NO are the only uh, compounds which are colorless gases and also neutral okay so two points colorless gas as well as neutral okay n2o and no and the next point is regarding the other oxides that is n2o4 n2o5 etc are colorless uh, solids but acidic in nature okay almost uh, all the remaining except uh, the uh, these uh, first two are acidic in nature but uh, we have to remember whether it is colorless or colored and all okay so the other all the others exceptional they are uh, colorless solids at uh, room temperature okay. the next one is regarding its preparation how these are prepared you must note one important thing that is nitrite is usually converted into nitric oxide okay remember that point that is nitric oxide and no if produced it is mostly from a nitrites NO2 minus. For example, you can look at the case of our nit uh, HNO2, okay, which I discussed in my previous video. HNO2 disproportionates to give our NO gas. So, okay, the preparation okay, you may not be asked like the preparation of NO and all. You may just be asked which gas is evolved or which uh, salt is produced on uh, this reaction, okay. So, if it is nitrite, mostly it is a nitric oxide, except in our uh, preparation of a nitrogen gas, okay. Now, our dinitrogen case, sodium nitrite with some uh, ammonium salts gave our nitrogen gas, okay. In two, I don't know how to produce it. In our previous reaction, in uh, our previous uh, class, I don't know how to do it. So, that's the end preparation. We take sodium nitrate we take the sodium nitrate and we add our ferrous sulfate and then uh, our acid and then we get our NO. Okay, and you just uh, understand the byproducts. Okay, that is Fe2SO4 thrice and so on. Now, next point. Uh, N2, how is N2O produced? That is nothing but by the decomposition of the thermal decomposition of our ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate, uh, heat is we get our N2O. So, you might be asked which gas is evolved in the uh, thermal decomposition of ammonium nitrate. It is nothing but N2O. Remember that point very much clearly. Uh, the next one is our N2O3. Okay. You must remember one thing, N2O3 and N2O4 are prepared from other oxides alone, okay, N2O3, okay, N2O3 and then another, NO plus N2O4 and 250 Kelvin gives our N2O3, okay, and N2O4 and another, rent nitric oxide, 2NO 
on cooling they dimerize okay so no on cooling dimerizes and no dimerizes on cooling that is a very important point so it produces n2o4 in the middle of the day let no two like we okay pb and no three twice okay in the killer career and when we are in a point nitrate salts number it's a young and detecting how do we detect uh, the presence of nitrate ion in a salt okay which is given to us in the laboratory we just uh, heat it and uh, by various processes and then add a uh, paper ball to it and we get our brown gas that is NO2. Similarly, just think, okay, NO2, if produced, it has to be some nitrates, okay. So, here, let nitrate on decomposition gives our NO2, okay. That's a very important point and you must remember the byproducts also. And next, the final one that is our uh, preparation of N2O5. How is N2O5 prepared? Okay, that uh, is a, a, a reaction that is to be noted uh, apart. That is HNO3 plus our P4O10. Okay, uh, it's a special reaction. Okay, all others are actually very much easy to remember. Uh, this reaction alone you have to study and keep. That is HNO3 plus P4O10 gives our uh, particular N2O5. Okay, so other uh, Ningle Ortho, Ekan, Bakil and Ningle Key set, or Ningle Key set, connect either the Kana de Ulu. Okay, that's all. Now, next table that is regarding the uh, bond angles, the uh, resonating structures, etc. Okay, now Ningle Ka, Ibade, mean at our N double bond, o, uh, N, N single bond, and other can Ortho Ekan other. And you must remember only one thing that is one exception that is in o n bonds okay in o n bonds comes only in our n2 o5 and not in any other oxides of nitrogen okay that's all and you must remember the bond angles in some like o n o n bond angle etc okay that is if it n o n bond angle and then number 112 degree and okay pin important bond angle in the way and again no two okay no two will allow our bond angle in the way in the oxygen or nitrogen oxygen bond angle in the way in the it's nearly 134 degree okay so other than the ortho okay and uh if possible remember the bond angles and uh of other uh structures also okay bond lengths i'm gonna show you can saw the deal but still if you can just remember it okay uh, in this case now nextly we can come to our uh, next point that is the case of our nitric acid okay it's a very very important part from which more uh, questions can arise that is firstly we have you have to remember one thing in nitric acid nitrogen when combines with oxygen or when group 15 elements combines with oxygen it shows some other positive oxidation state that is for example here we have mainly three uh, types of acids here that is hyponitrous acid h2n2o2 our nitrogen oxidation state plus one pin aditha then dana hno2 nitrous acid where its oxidation state is plus three and then comes our hno3 where its oxidation state is nothing but plus five okay so our uh, nitric acid na kurcha na namla padi kya bolna so <coughs> nitric acid so first of all its preparation generally okay in the laboratory namla parne wale that is from uh, chili salt peta or indian salt peta that is sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate when combines with the sulfuric acid produces hno3 okay that's all and next to one our commercial preparation that is by oswald's process very very important that is ammonia when combines with okay ammonia is uh, treated with oxygen okay oxygen means from the air ammonia is treated and in the uh, the catalyst is very important platinum rhodium gauche catalyst at 500 kelvin temperature 9 bar pressure okay 9 bar pressure gives our no and h2 but no is produced but still you must remember one thing e no soon okay okay we know that this oxygen is from air this reactant oxygen is from air and so a reaction mixture no produce in order it combines with the oxygen okay the remaining oxygen from the air to produce our no2 and this no2 again combines with the water water every day in the reaction then a byproduct item okay we have uh, water as a byproduct in the first reaction so that NO2 combines with this water to form our HNO3. That's the 
main commercial preparation so understand these three steps okay ammonia with oxygen produces our no no combines with the remaining oxygen to form no2 no2 combines with the uh, uh, first water to form our hno3 okay that's all now next point that is the reactivity okay reactions uh, here also some points are important like our uh, bond angles and all you must remember the bond angles okay and i'll tell you that you'll have a little time but i'm not going to bond angle and bond length and you will have to learn about it so nothing to tell about it in particular so what is the point of the nitric acid and the reactions first of all note some important points like First one, nitric acid is a strong acid. That's all right. Then next one, nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. Strong oxidizing agent. We have it is in plus 5 oxidation state. So it has tendency to get reduced. Okay. So that's all. Uh, so it is a strong oxidizing agent. But, but some metals like chromium and aluminium do not react with this nitric acid to produce um, the corresponding oxides and all okay okay that oxidize avilla okay you uh, chromium aluminium no oxidize avilla so if a reaction is given for example chromium plus hno3 then uh, you might be asked about the products okay but in that reaction no major products are released because adhyam kurachu samayam mathram okay initially for a few uh, uh, time okay uh, the reaction takes place but to form an oxide layer okay uh, an oxide film over the metal and hence these are non reactive to our hno3 okay uh, but with other metals it combines with uh, our nitric acid and nitric acid oxidizes it okay so our samayam ulla by products the by products during that time is very very important and has been constantly asked in our uh, entrance exams as well as four board exams so ivrathe nammalde metals edakeyana copper and zinc okay so this copper and zinc combines with uh, okay not only this copper and zinc but uh, almost all metals non metals etc combine with this nitric acid to produce no2 okay appa so, nitric nitrate anengil okay hno3 anengil the product will be no2 okay no2 matte hno2 ayirunnu engil it will be no so here nammalde uh, hno3 with most of the reactions gives a uh, by product no2 adu ortu vekka okay that's very important point no2 is produced in most of the reactions which hno3 but in concentrated hno3 okay adhe pole ani copper plus concentrated hno3 and zinc plus concentrated hno3 but copper with our hno3 okay dilute hno3 gives our no while our zinc with dilute hno3 gives our n2 how to remember it without any confusion it's very easy i have a mnemonic for you that is you can remember it as kunno okay c u n o okay kunno okay in malayalam kunno kunnile hills okay uh, that okay adana nam just kunno ennu ortu vekka so in that way you can never confuse uh, no is produced for zinc okay no is always produced for, uh, when copper reacts with dilute hno3 okay and with zinc the exception okay that is uh, one left behind that is n2 that's all now next one that is uh, 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 you know uh, it is since it is an oxidizing agent it oxidizes i2 to uh, hio3 that is iodic acid then uh, s8 to uh, sulfuric acid and so on okay and uh, our reactions are just an uh, oxidization reaction and corresponding oxides or uh, the acids are produced okay that's all now next point that is the uh, very important thing that is nitrate ring text uh, okay adu uh, ningal clear aayittu arinjirikkanam edakkana exam oriented points okay what are the exam oriented points here that is you know that ningal ellaru laboratory cheyittundalle we add ferrous sulfate solution freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution to the um, okay the solution containing the salt okay the nitrate salt and then we add the uh, sulfuric acid along the sides of the test tube right so at that time a brown ring is formed so here what happens is that our nammalde uh, no3 minus combines with fe2 plus in the presence of h plus to produce our no okay to produce our no and our fe3 plus okay but this no combines with our fe2 plus okay fe h2 o 6 times 2 plus and hence form our nitrate ring that is nothing but, but penta aqua nitrosonium complex okay and uh, that is here you must remember one important thing what is the oxidation state of iron here it is nothing but plus 1 okay how come it is plus 1 uh, uh, though the positive charge is plus 2 
ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നൈട്രസോണിയം അതായത് ഇവിടെ എൻ ഒ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സീറോ ചാർജ് അല്ല ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ടേക്കിംഗ് അ പോസിറ്റീവ് ചാർജ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ പോസിറ്റീവ് ലൈക്ക് ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഹെൻസ് എൻ ഒ ഇസ് ഹാവിംഗ് എ പ്ലസ് ചാർജ് ആൻഡ് അങ്ങനെയാണ് ടോട്ടൽ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് പ്ലസ് ടു എന്ന് വന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് അയോൺ ഇൻ ദിസ് നൈട്രേറ്റ് റിങ് കോംപ്ലക്സ് ഇസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് Plus one, okay. Now next to the various uses of nitrogen. There is, uh, it is used uh, mainly in, uh, to make nitroglycerin, then uh, TNT that is uh, an explosive, then uh, it is used to make many other processes like uh, PO, okay, PETCHO, you can remember it as PETCHO, that is PETCHO. picking of steel then etching of various metals oxidizer of uh, various rocket fuels etc okay so that's they are the important uses of our nitric acid okay nitric acid mainly then next one nammalde phosphorus inde karyam here we have our three phosphorus white red and black okay so we will compare it and study okay first one our uh, white phosphorus and red phosphorus we can compare the first one is white phosphorus is actually insoluble in water but soluble in carbon disulfide cs2 okay while the next one red phosphorus is insoluble in both also the first one is more reactive the less uh, next one is uh, okay red phosphorus is re- relatively less reactive so ningalude mikka reactions il ningal upayogikkunnathu avo white phosphorus aayirikkum white p4 okay and this uh, white phosphorus shows chemiluminescence it glows in uh, air okay but uh, our uh, red phosphorus uh, d- uh, does not show this chemiluminescence property okay then next important a uh, point of difference okay yeah, we are just comparing it and study which helps you understand it and memorize it for longer time okay ini ningal adala alochikkada why is p4 more uh, reactive okay this is because p4 ennu parayunnathu white p4 ennu parayunnathu it's not uh, it's uh, existing as a monomer while red phosphorus ennu parayunnathu or polymer poleyana so adagondu thene in white phosphorus we have it as a tetrahedral structure in which the bond angle is correctly only 60 degree so there will be uh, greater uh, what greater uh, uh, what crowding uh, there and hence that's the reason for its uh, less stability okay now next one the other important reaction slide ava nammalde p4 naoh right p4 when reacts with naoh in a uh, relatively inert atmosphere that to inert atmosphere of carbon dioxide this is not given here but later in the case of phosphine okay so it gives what it gives our phosphine ph3 and our hypophosphite okay that is sodium hypophosphite okay na2po2 p4 in a very reaction and the very very important matter p4 uh, when exposed to air i told you that it is very much reactive so our oxygen at the contact varumba thane it gives dense white fumes of this p4o10 okay p4o10 at the uh, soon at the convert avayana cheynathu okay next one our red phosphorus so red phosphorus and chela reactions parayanengil okay how is red phosphorus produced okay so you just note this uh, flow chart okay which is actually made by me okay ningal aa theory nokkanda you need not study the theory so here white phosphorus at 573 kelvin in a inert atmosphere for a few days produce our red phosphorus and from this red phosphorus we can obtain all types of black phosphorus okay so red phosphorus why it is called as red because it has an iron gray luster in it okay so that's all and also if phosphine okay phosphine reacts with water okay phosphine water lot it yenal endha sambhavikka it gives red phosphorus and also some hydrogen gas okay so adu ningal ortu vekkanda veru point and red phosphorus ana phosphine uh, usually water right react cheyumbol kittunathu now next point that is regarding our black phosphorus you must remember one thing that is you have two types of black phosphorus alpha and beta and alpha is usually produced from red and beta from white okay you can remember it as alpha red okay so alpha uh black phosphorus how is it produced okay the uh, red phosphorus at 803 kelvin in a sealed tube produces our, our alpha uh, black phosphorus while the beta black phosphorus okay it is from white phosphorus which in turn reacts at 473 kelvin okay 473 kelvin la react cheyumbolana okay it gives our um, okay at how many how much pressure 1200 to 4000 atmosphere pressure lakana adu a oru reaction nadakkunnathu that's all and what is the difference between alpha black and beta black alpha black does not oxidize in air at all 
okay but beta black does not oxidize up to 673 kelvin 673 kelvin kariyumbolekkum adu oxidize avan thorangum okay that's all now next point our phosphine okay phosphine the preparation adhe nokkam we have studied one preparation adhaayathu nammalde laboratory preparation nammal padichu kaynu okay that is p4 plus nao h adella ini nammalku sadharana aayittu engine produce cheya that is how is it produced normally okay when calcium phosphide okay ca3p2 reacts with water or hcl it produces the phosphine gas okay that's all but e reactions onnu these reactions do not produce pure phosphorus okay phosphine okay so how is pure phosphine obtained this ph3 which is got by the above processes this ph3 is then added with hi okay Uh, combines with hi to form ph4i and this ph4i is in turn added to koh and this koh and uh, hence combines with the iodine to form ki and hence our ph3 will be released okay along with water so our ph3 that ph3 will be more pure than our other uh, phosphine okay now we'll, nextly regarding the properties of this phosphine gas okay phosphine gas and multiple other properties phosphine gas and properties in our example Uh, for example first property is that this phosphine combines with the salts of other uh, metals like copper mercury etc to produce the corresponding phosphides okay And also ph3 yeah. is useful in smoke screens okay so how smoke screens are produced okay uh, uh, smoke screens are remember usually endana warfare like ubayikunnunda pinne endha paraya and also it, for home signals home signals means uh, if a sheep got wrecked or uh, if anything happens uh, anything uh, emergency happens to a ship in the sea so odeni ship il ullavar endu yum they throw uh, the bottles containing calcium carbide calcium phosphide etc into the oceans and when this calcium carbide combines with the water it forms ethane and also the uh, calcium hydroxide and uh, when this calcium phosphide is thrown okay the cal- uh, calcium phosphide combine cheyum endu sambhavikka we get our ph3 and this ph3 is also forms a smoke and in addition this ph3 just like our white phosphorus combines with oxygen to produce our p4o10 which also de- produces dense uh, smoke okay and our smoke kaanumbo ee warfare la engane varna our smoke or screen attack team that is uh, from to protect from being attacked and also to attack others okay pakshe or emergency situation la ee smoke ingane uyarnu pondu payikum okay if it is near any shore or if there is any other uh, ships nearby they can understand that there is something emergency taking place at that point okay so angane irunnu pandaga ubayichirunnathu this of phosphine and all now next important point is regarding our pcl3 and pcl5 which is very very important that's pxy and px uh, pxy and px3 and mainly nammal main aite deal cheyina pcl3 and pcl5 so what about pcl3 and pcl5 so first one production is very easy nammal parayna mari nammalde aa oru phosphorusum chloride um kodi chernittu our pcl3 is produced in next point ennu parayunnathu nothing but p4 plus our hcl2 produce our pcl3 that is thionyl chloride aanengil pcl3 and if it is so2cl2 that is uh, our uh, sulfuryl chloride then it will be our pcl5 okay. also in the previous reaction in addition we get uh, in addition to our pcl3 we also get some compounds like h2cl2 okay so h2cl2 avade kittunnundu but here only sulfur dioxide is produced okay the so2 plus h2cl2 but in pcl5 preparation we have our so2 alone okay that's all now next one its reactivities you must remember one common thing that is in case of pcl3 almost all reactions produce h3po3 as a by product okay h3po3 is a by product uh, that is orthophosphorus acid but in case of our pcl5 we get pocl3 or h3po4 as a by product okay that is orthophosphoric acid as a by product there it is orthophosphorus acid for example nammal ee pcl3 ennu parayundhu just uh, it just combines with our organic compounds like uh, acids then our uh, alcohols etc to produce our alkyl halides and also the uh, alkanoyl halide so, so the by products here will be h3po3 okay this you have already studied in organic chemistry now and while the same reactions occurs here also in pcl5 also the actually the uh, by products will be pocl3 okay plus water and all 
and uh, you will why i told you that h3po4 can also be produced this, this is because our pcl3 pocl3 when combines with water it produces our h3po4 okay that's why i told this reaction and the next common reaction that can be asked here is our decomposition of pcl5 that is it produces pcl3 okay decomposition of pcl5 gives our pcl3 that's all uh, the other f uh, reactions that i left out was the pcl3 plus water to give pocl3 that already i have included in some other points also and next one pcl5 if it was pcl5 it produces pocl3 okay that's why the byproducts also change in other reactions okay and now next important point that is our uh, pcl5 usually exists as our P2Cl10, okay, and that too as two complex ionic compounds, okay, that is nothing but PCl4 plus and PCl6 minus, and here PCl4 plus is a uh, tetrahedral uh, solid, while PCl6 minus is a octahedral uh, structure, okay. So uh, also in our previous case, that is in case of PCl3, it was actually a tetrahedral structure, and that's all with sp3 hybridization of phosphorus, okay. So we you have studied it completely by comparing so if you study in this manner of comparing not only this topic but in any other topics then it will always be registered onto your mind more better because you are actually comparing two different things okay that's all so, uh, so uh, regarding the oxo acids of phosphorus i will deal in a, uh, another video okay another small video which is exclusively for this oxo acids of phosphorus so friends i hope you have understood the topics up to this and the rest of the chapter will be discussed in the next part okay so uh, till then bye bye